Hey, welcome to part two. Good job learning the first half of Growl, and here are the parts of the second half of the dance. I wish you good luck, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, on to the chorus. The whole chorus part goes with the beat of the lyric, so follow that when dancing this part. You also want to keep light on your toes and feel the bounce to the song. It'll make everything easier. So first you want to start by hitting your arms back while jumping on your right foot. Your arms should be bent and pop back when you jump. Then you bring your arms down while your left leg comes into your right. Then you're going to throw your arms down and jump so you face to the right diagonal in front of you and then cross your right leg over your left. Next you bounce your body down two times and throw your arms down again while you jump up to bring both of your legs together. Next seems to be the highlight of the chorus part, but it's actually difficult because it's so fast. The, the trick is to step with your right foot to face the back of the room and twist to the front. When you twist to the front, you immediately want to put your right foot on the ground and then swing your left knee around to bring your right leg up. When your right leg is up, put all the weight on it so you can get up. So after you get up, you're going to take three steps to the back of the room starting with your left leg. Your legs don't cross each other though, they stay in the same position while your arms pop forward. Your arms pop forward when you step on your left leg each time. Then you step on your right foot so it crosses in front of you and you bounce your body down two times. Then you step on your left foot so your legs are apart while your arms come to this position, your left arm to your side while your right is bent in a fist near your chest. Then you're going to lift your right arm up and then punch it into your left hand. It's three movements with the arms and should look like this. Then your legs are going to step together, step together, starting with your right foot while your right hand brushes your left shoulder and your left hand brushes your right shoulder when you do it to the opposite side. Next, you step on your right foot so your legs are apart and throw your arms down. Then you're going to cross your right leg over your left again by stepping and punch your arms down so they cross in front of you. Then you bring your left leg back together to your right and throw your arm up. Then you step forward with your left foot and bring your right arm up and hit down. While you do this, you also want to hit your head down also. After, you step back on your right foot and bring your left back together to your right. Then you step to the side with your left foot and bring your right foot together to, the, to your left while pumping your right arm in a circle with a fist. You should circle your, your arm two times before stepping to the right and then together while nodding your head two times to the left. So it's step together while pumping your arm and then step together while nodding. After that, you keep your weight on your foot that isn't stepping out and you start by stepping on your right foot while your arm is bent and your hand is open. Then you bring your right foot in and do it again to the other side using your right arm and left leg. I call the next move the flail move because it kind of looks like you're fla flailing your arms and you do it by jumping on your right foot while your left stays in the air and your right arm is bent and your left is straight out to the side. Then you do it to the other side by jumping on your left leg and switching your arms. Then you're going to bring your right foot in and bring your arms down and out while kind of doing a body roll forward. It's a small one and your arm should end up crossing in front of your chest. Then you're going to pump your arms open while bringing your chest out. Next is the monkey move and you stay on your toes for this one and jump up so your right foot hits the ground before your left. Your left arm can be kept holding your belt or your pants while your right uh, goes up, down, and then up. You jump up three times while your right arm goes up, down, and up. Make sure it swings like a monkey. Then the last move is to step into this position where both of your legs are facing are together facing the left diagonal and you're going to crouch over for the first move and then scoop down with both arms two times while your right leg goes out whenever your arms scoop. And that's it! You learned the chorus. Now let's try it normal time.
Alright, the next part is when Dio starts singing, or Kyungsu, and this is the easiest part for me, mostly because it is simple and slow. So you first start off with your right leg behind your left, and you do a body roll while leaning back. After you roll, after you roll your body, you then snap with both hands outwards, and then nod your head up and then down. Next, you roll both of your shoulders forward and step forward in the same position, starting with your back foot. Next, you bounce your hips back and step forward the same way two more times while your left hand holds your pants or belt and your right hand sna snaps when you step forward. Then you roll both your shoulders forward again while you drag your right foot into your left and then shrug your shoulders twice facing the right diagonal and then twice again facing the left diagonal. Next, you're going to hop on your right foot and move to the side of the room. You hop four times, switching feet, and your leg, uh, your and the leg you're not hopping on, is bent in the back. Your hands can be in your pockets or holding your belt or pants while doing this. After hopping, you you should stop with your legs apart and bounce four times, doing whatever you want to do on the second and fourth bounce. I just snap. Then you hop again, but only two times. Your arms come into L's, your left arm bent up, while your right is bent and flat first. For the second hop, you switch your arms and then take three steps starting with your left foot. After, you step back on your right while leaning your body back, and then you take two steps to reposition, your, reposition yourself to face front. While taking those two steps, you want to have your right hand pointing up while, you le while your left arm is bent flat. Your right, your right hand should twirl outwards to the right and come down when stepping. Next you jump so your feet come together and press both arms to the side. Then you step forward on your right foot and bring your left arm up and bent near your chest. After you step to the side with your left leg and bring both of your hands to the side with your palms facing up. Then you flip your hands upwards while you step on your right foot, then left to face the side of the room. Your hands flip and move to the side of your body when you face to the side so they remain front. Then you put your right foot forward and then in while your left arm goes across your body and then you do it to the other side. But when you step to the left, you should put your weight on it because the next move is to lean forward and then move your right shoulder up, then your left. Then you do two sets of step together step again while moving to the back of the room. Your left arm is up in a 90 degree position for the first set and then switches to the other arm for the second set. Then you step on your right foot to the back and lean back while your left hand slides down your chest. And that's it for this part. Now on to learning the dance break after we do this part normal time. <laughs> Okay, the final part, and kind of the most challenging if you haven't danced before. First, you're going to get on your right knee and then extend your left leg forward. Then you're going to step on your left foot and bring your body forward by pulling yourself on your left leg. After, you're going to position yourself so that your left leg is bent, 
to your side while you're still on your right knee. You're going to do four pops, one leaning into your left leg and then another sliding outwards and straightening your left leg while your arms open out. Do another pop in and another pop out and then onto the hardest part of the dance. To do this, you're really going to have you're really going to have to have strength. Um, you first pop up on your right arm and right leg. Then you bring your left leg down so your legs are apart while still on your right arm. Next, this seems a little scary, but release your right arm and twist your body to the left and twist to the right again to catch yourself on the ground. Then you're going to swing your left leg forward, then your right, then bring your knees together and then apart. Next, you're going to arch up and then bounce two times while your arms bend in in front of your chest. The next move is a little improv but it's four step togethers and then a pose, two steps, another pose, and then two steps. For the four step togethers, um, I keep both of my legs bent and open and close them. This is all about feeling the natural groove of the song, so try anything that goes with the beat. After the four steps, you want to make a pose in place and then take two steps, make another pose, then two steps and then you walk to face the back of the room and stop and get into this position, your right leg in front of your left. Then you get it, when you get into this position, uh, look up and around to your right and keep this pose until the slow singing part ends. After that, you're gonna turn to your left and bend your legs to face the front and walk forward to do the last chorus of the song. And that's it guys, you finished learning the entire dance. Now let's try it normal speed. Good job learning growl! I hope this tutorial helped a lot of you guys out, and please subscribe to Eggo TV for more K-pop stuff from me and my brother. You can also check out my other dance tutorials by clicking this link here, which is a playlist of all the ones that I've made, and don't forget to follow our Twitter for updates on new videos, or just random stuff we tweet. Anyways, comment below if you have any requests for me, and I'll see you guys next time! Bye guys!